Oops, sorry, wrong language. Hi, my name is Peanut and I'm a street dog from Panchgani, which is in Western India. And I'm really lucky to live here because of a very special place. I'll tell you more about it. When you first get there, you see a picture of a tree with animals and a girl. The girl's name is said to be Janice and she was of Irish origins. She was born here many years ago. Young Janice cared for and treated animals who became her only family. Since she never married, after she passed away, the animals were left with nobody to take care of them. Soon after her death, illegitimate claims were made on her property, which would render the resident animals homeless. Luckily, local animal lovers came together to form a trust, which took over the place and began to repair it. Slowly, it became a sanctuary for animals once again. And this place came to be known as Janice's Trust. Now if an animal is hurt and someone reports it, people from Janice's Trust come and pick them up irrespective of their species and size. Donkeys, cows, dogs, cats, horses and sometimes even animals like monkeys and birds go in there. When an animal in need gets to Janice's Trust, the resident doctor administers first aid and begins a course of treatment depending on what the problem is. Very badly affected animals need to see the specialist. The specialist operates on the more serious cases that require surgeries to amputate limbs, mend broken bones and remove tumours. Together, they save many animals who would otherwise die on the street. The animals that are recovering or need long-term treatment stay on in the shelter at Janice's Trust. When they are better again, they are released back to their homes. Besides the doctors, there is a kind couple on the team who are the general caregivers at the shelter. They work tirelessly to assist with treatments, keep the place clean and tidy and make sure the animals get the food and water they need. Once any sick puppies at the shelter recover, they are eligible for adoption. The shelter holds regular adoption camps in the town centre. Many puppies get lucky and find a new family and a good home. Once every year, they organize anti-rabies vaccination drives. You do know what rabies is, right? It is a very nasty virus for dogs and cats, which always kills. And it can be fatal for humans if we bite them. Not that we would do it intentionally. So they gather us up to vaccinate against this vicious disease. Some of us get scared and put up a fight, so they have to use nets on us. The nets don't really hurt and they keep us safe. Through regular events and workshops, they raise awareness in schools about dog bite and rabies prevention. This helps save the lives of local children. Sometimes these children visit the shelter where they play with us animals and learn how to be kind to us. This is very important as it builds a more animal-friendly society. The shelter also holds animal birth control camps. They perform a small operation on our street dogs so that we don't have too many puppies. It is hard having puppies when you're on a street. Puppies often get diseased and die. They get run over by cars. When there are too many of us, we have to fight for food. And since they give us anesthesia during this procedure, we feel no pain and we recover fairly fast and then we can go home. In the main hall of the shelter, 
there's a small museum dedicated to Panchgani and Janice. It serves as a memorial to the great work that she has done and spreads the message of animal love to all those who visit. I'm so glad that Janice chose to look after us. Because of her and the trust, we street animals have someone looking out for us. And that is why I feel lucky to be a Panchgani dog.